Go watch some football. Green Bay Packers are playing tonight. They're playing Atlanta. No. Atlanta. Falcons. So we're gonna go meet up with some friends of ours and we're gonna go see how that works. It's gonna be fun. I love the fun. Puppy. Puppy. Oh hi doggy. <laughs> so we're gonna go to the Stumble Inn over on 75th, 2nd Avenue. Go watch some football. Going to meet up with one of my old friends and then her significant other. I don't know, there's a lot of people. We're gonna see how it goes. Totally being safe and cautious the entire time, of course. <laughs> <laughs> uh, typically Parker does not ride on the back of my bike. She rides her own because she's a strong, independent woman, but she didn't feel like riding, so she's gonna ride on the back one. I, of course, will be maintaining myself and not getting crazy because that would be irresponsible. I won't. <laughs> the key to a good pylon on a bike is uh, definitely having them completely and totally trash. Yep. Don't know if you just saw the Rebel ride by. At least they were wearing helmets. That's nice. I talked about it in my first video about how they were starting to enforce that. Not sure if you saw on my Instagram page, but I posted a video of when I rode home the other night, a Rebel driver with no helmet on. <laughs> he asked me to race. I thought he was joking because they're electronically governed at 25 miles an hour. They don't even have gasoline powered motors. And when the light turned green, he really got on it and he started to go. So we decided to flex on him a little bit and push a... <laughs> <laughs> He'd be straight flexing you. Why, are, why is my hair tickling your face? You have a visor. It's, it's, under, it's going underneath. <laughs> it's like flying up underneath my the front of my helmet and tickling my chin. Also, I can't quite tell if it's your hair or my hair. Between the two of us, there's quite a lot of hair. It's very pretty tonight. Right? Gorgeous. Oh, look, football. Man, I love football. And a doggy. This is the official mascot of the Upper East Side. We've got puppies. Puppies. I was riding home the other day and I had the Pandora station on. I was like, oh man, this is really nice. This is really good footage. And then I got home and watched it and I was like, oh, it recorded all of that Pandora footage. I can't, I can't use any of this. <laughs> this place is gonna be packed. This is the first Monday night football game since indoor dining has been allowed. I feel like I haven't been stuck in New York traffic since yesterday. <laughs> Not very few and far between. But I don't like going down Lexington because on Lexington, everybody double parks just like this and it's only two lanes wide. So literally everybody double parks and then you have one lane that everybody's trying to get down. Today, Junior. Yeah, right? <laughs> I was like, is that guy gonna stop or? Yeah, the bicyclists in New York City are crazy. Let's see if we can find us a spot. Parking is hard for motorcycles. Parking is impossible for cars. Go right here. This is great. Okay, that's this, is, this is a great spot. All right, well, that was fun. That was a good time. We won. We did win. I was born ready. Oh, dear God. I can't get my leg up. This is why I drove. Hey, is it copyrighted if I have a it? Maybe. I don't know. Oh man, 
that was a lot of fun last night. Packers killed it. So we did have quite a few pitchers last night, responsibly, of course. And you know, your boy was feeling a little bit this morning. I was just gonna stay home all day, not really do a whole lot, but I decided it is way too pretty of a day for me to just stay home and not go ride. Yeah, man, get it. There you go. Almost hit that old lady. So we don't really have any sort of particular destination today, but it's nice. It's about 65 degrees out right now. Not a cloud in the sky. Figured we'd just go do some sightseeing. One of the things that's really cool to see here is Grand Central Terminal from the outside. So I figured we'd go check that out. I'm gonna take you through the actual Grand Central Tunnel and then depending on what time it is, 4.30 right now, so kind of a bad time because uh, all the commuters are about to get on the road. But we can go check out and see maybe like the Brooklyn Bridge, something like that. I got a cat hair on my nose. Taxi. That's what I was talking about. That guy was totally not even paying attention. The park is really cool because it's got this cool partition right in the middle, the median, and it kind of cuts a big swath to the middle of all these buildings. It's really just a neat looking visual. This is one thing that sucks about Park Avenue is all of these lights are not as long as any of the other lights. Say like if you're going down 2nd Avenue, Lexington, something like that, they'll all sequentially like turn on one after the other after the other all the way down pretty much so you can just ride straight down or straight up if you're coming on one of the northbound avenues. But on Park, it seems like they all change all at the same time. So like every single light here, the next one, all of them all the way down will all turn green all at the same time. So all the traffic all moves and then they only last for like 35 seconds or so. So I looked over the video footage of last night and while you could kind of slightly hear the audio coming from Parker's helmet, it was really kind of hard. Hopefully I can get something figured out. I think it's mostly her headset because that headset she got is not great. I have one too and just the quality of it is not quite amazing. It's not bad for what it is, but it's not great. Getting closer. I'm very excited to continue making these videos. The last video so far has almost 30 views on it in just a couple of days, which is amazing considering I have almost no promotion besides just what I put on Facebook and Instagram and then whatever anybody else decides to share. I looked at the analytics and it seems like YouTube actually suggested one of my videos, which is, hey man, come on dude, really? Come on bro. Really? Really? Dick. Anyway, so they actually suggested my last video, the Cena 10C Evo Is It Worth It video, which so far, from what I can see, it is 100% worth. This thing is awesome. The literal only complaint that I have is that the ear coverings for the speaker are very, very, very fragile. They've already started tearing just from me putting on and taking off my helmet. Kind of need those. So I'm gonna have to figure something out with that. This is a cool shot. See if we can get a good picture. Hope that worked. So the actual tunnel part here is not super crazy exciting or anything, but it is kind of neat that it's here. It's interesting. This coming up right here is really cool. Remember I was talking about Tony Stark's building in the Avengers? This is the actual bridge they were standing on. The big team up shot where they're all circling around and reloading their weapons and stuff like that. That was actually on this bridge right here. Also, it's where Natasha jumps off Cap's shield and lands on one of the Chitari flying machines. Pretty neat. So I think that maybe, quite possibly, this will be the first venture outside of our borough. Is if we jump over the bridge, We'll be in Brooklyn. So if anybody has any sort of comment, suggestions, anything like that, anywhere you'd like to go see for some reason, you know, any sort of landmarks or buildings or bridges, anything, I'll go check it out.
seems like everybody who rides a motorcycle in this city sees somebody else on a motorcycle and has to ride faster than them for some reason. I'm really not sure why. Man, crazy the difference those buildings make. As soon as you get over to the park here, it's just so much sun. The entire time that we've been riding, we've been in the shade. Blam! This is the countdown clock right here. Counting down to the point of no return of global climate change. That's what it's set up for right now anyway. Most of the time it is a art installation that counts to, I can't remember how many decimals, but it's a lot. And it's just a, it's just a big old clock. Let's see if we can turn up here. See, now the traffic's gonna start getting real bad. And also this stupid bus will not get out of the way. I don't really have any idea where I'm going or how I'm gonna get to where I wanna go, but we're just gonna figure it out, right? It'll be fun. This is 2nd Avenue, we can go down 2nd Avenue. Welcome to the East Village. We'll hook it down Houston, head over to FDR, take that down, jump on the Brooklyn Bridge. Because why not, man? Why not? When I first moved here, I used to take the Q train into work every day in the city from Flatbush Prospect Park area, and it drives over the Manhattan Bridge. And it is a pretty looking sight, especially on a day like today. So we're gonna try to see what we can do here. Lower East Side has a little tiny area called Two Bridges in it, which is literally the spot between two bridges. If you just jump on one of those bridges, you can head over to the Lower East Side pretty dang quick. I'm happy I came out. I wasn't going to, but I'm happy I did. Well, the battery on the GoPro is dying, so I think that's about all you're gonna see of me. But it's all good because this thing right here still got some juice left. Oh well, see how much more we get out of it. This camera's really not so important anyway. Just kind of like, I don't know, another camera, just there. It's funny that thing was screaming at me that the battery was dying and then I looked down and I actually ended up filling up the SD card. The Williamsburg Bridge. That one's all right. That's not where we're going today. There's our bridges right there. So we're gonna hit it just at the right time of day where everybody's trying to go home. That's such a cool building train right there that's going across that bridge but that's the one that I used to ride it's either the Q train or the B train or I don't know what else goes over that bridge and then that Q train turns makes a right turn and goes straight up it actually goes right up to where I currently live which is why when we were moving I was able to get most of our stuff on the train yeah I am that crazy person who moved on the train Man, what a cool shot of the city. That train is really loud though. Figure it out. Woo, dang, that train is loud. I have yet to actually walk across the Brooklyn Bridge. You can see there's a bunch of people up there who bike and walk and jog. You need to actually get up there and do that in a world where there's nothing to do that is something to do. Oh man, almost there. It's a good thing I decided to do this during rush hour. Great job, Chase. Very smart. 10 of 10. Cool, man. Good yes! Job. What do you expect? He's from Jersey. You're going the wrong way, bro. This is the way to Brooklyn. Jersey's the other way. Can you go? You were so eager. All right, we made it. Getting on to the bridge. Hopefully it won't stop us too bad. I'm probably not gonna talk much just because I wanna show you guys how cool this is. And I don't wanna mess it up with the sound of my voice. So here we go.
Yeah, that is it, guys. We are officially in Brooklyn. I know, exciting, right? Well, I think that's about it. I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. I wanna go ahead and just say thank you again to everybody who had liked, commented, subscribed, anybody who's given me any sort of traction at all. You are the lifeline of my life. If you wouldn't mind just leaving a like here, a comment, share it with your friends, anybody who's interested in seeing what this city looks like from the perspective of your average motorcyclist. All right, everybody. Well, thank you again. I appreciate all of you. Signing off.